Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I really want to talk about Amazon stock. I, I think Amazon carries so much potential in the short and long term. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video because that's my main goal with this channel is to try to educate you guys and share my opinion on different stocks, investments, and stuff like that here. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe. And guys, we do have a course, but Getting into all that stuff later, let's talk about Amazon stock. So looking at Amazon stock, you guys can see it may look a little confusing, but in here we just had a solid upward trend. And then here we had explosion in buying pressure. This represents the, pretty much the March crash that a lot of stocks saw. But during that time of lockdown, this company soared in value, hit record revenue, record deliveries, all that good stuff. And then it almost seemed like we hit this strong resistance and then just had consolidation for a very long time. So breaking down this consolidation, because this is the most important part here, the last you know three, four months of a stock. So you guys can see it hit this price zone at around $3,500 and sold off here, all the way down to about $3,000. And then from 3,000, it came back up to almost five, you know, 3,500, sold off, and then consolidated, and then sold off back down to about $3,000, and then did get bought up again. So what does that mean, Carter? Well, looking at these highs, these highs were at around 3,500 to 3,400, represent a very strong resistance. So this is going to have a very, very hard time breaking above. And then this right in here, this buying pressure represents a support line. So this means that there's millions of investors hopping into this position at $3,000. There's more buyers than sellers. That's why we've seen a uh, price change go up. You know, that's why we saw this price of the stock go up in value. So what does that mean? Where should you buy? Well, you should always try to buy when the stock is undervalued, not overvalued. You've heard the phrase, buy low, sell high. So why would you buy up in here? I get if you're doing dollar cost averaging because you don't know, but you understand uh, the long term of your in investment. So, but as a swing trader and just a more educated uh, beginner investor, you want to hop into this thing right around here. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. So my strategy for this stock here, I do already own, I think maybe two or three shares, but I'm going to be putting up around $5,000 at around uh, $3,000. So that's going to average my price up a little bit because I did get down. I did get in around $2,500 is when I first hop in um, about a year ago now. And now, so I'm going to get a good average price here at, at you know, at that $3,000 zone. So then with that other uh, $5,000, because I'm going to be investing 10, I'm going to dollar cost average it. So I get a good average price over the next, you know, five weeks because I'm going to be investing around a thousand dollars per week over the next five weeks so i can get a good average price for my shares because if this does continue to fall down in value i want to make sure i do have some cash where i can invest and capitalize on that sell-off but the thing is is if it goes up in value i understand that you know yes i'm going to have a good average price but i'm still going to be making money the stock's going to be going up so i understand that but the thing is though too is i don't care about this company in the next day or two or three days because that's all short-term volatility i care about the long-term goal for amazon so what does amazon have for the future here well look at this amazon begins um testing new electric vehicles here uh in san francisco so they are turning towards the electric um auto space here they're they're having their delivery vans electric i think that's phenomenal i think that's a very strong thing to do especially for the administration that is in the office here so that's really really cool to see here not to mention amazon makes so much of their money from data and data did surpass the price of uh gold i believe no it's surpassed the price of all oil so that just shows you that data is growing i believe at around 24 percent per year so that is beautiful because amazon makes so much of their money off data and that that is beautiful for an investor because when you see a growth uh, increase in revenue you will see an increase in stock price so what that means is this is a perfect opportunity to invest guys that is just my opinion but overall this is a perfect investment for the long term everybody uses amazon so you might as well take a little bit of your money invest it hold hold it for three five ten years not even look at it understand this little volatility in here 
use that as an opportunity to invest guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys got something of value out of this video because i really really try my hardest with these guys so remember to stay happy stay positive guys and stay safe out there and we'll see you later take care everyone